All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Are we actually recording? Yes. So, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night, even though I went to bed pretty late, like 1 a.m. ish, right? I, I just, uh, I just love being able to just wake up whenever, but not wake up too late. Hmm. I seem a little bit too far to the right on your screen. Uh, okay. Guess that's because. Uh, because sometimes I swap between the kneeling chair and like the chair behind me because like I just have to have the backrest. But I also just kind of noticed that a long time ago, shortly after I moved into this apartment a couple of years ago, I had this uh, back brace that I bought that I completely forgot about. And then yesterday I was like, oh, wait, I bought a back brace because I always assumed it was like the wrist uh, brace because I was actually starting to have pains while using the computer all of a sudden. And I couldn't figure out why. And then like. I was like, you know, okay, I'm definitely getting older, but that's only part of the issue. That means I must be doing something wrong. And then, and then I guess God, well, I didn't know at the time, but I guess God told me, uh, hey, maybe you should check, take a look at your posture, specifically, you know, uh, let me show you. Uh, proper posture, sitting, work, computer. I forgot what the term was, uh, but I just searched on YouTube. Yeah, this is a good one. We spend a lot. Yeah, I don't know, five ways or whatever, but let me, let me see if it just has a. Yeah, you can just watch this whole video. But I watched something like this. This might have been the actual video, too. But basically, your forearm is supposed to be aligned with the keyboard. That's why I was getting pain, because when it's angled in any way, right, that's when you start getting the wrist pain and you get your carpal tunnel. But if it's flat, neutral, right? You gotta be careful because otherwise it's gonna look a certain uh, salute, <laughs> right? It's gotta be flat and neutral here, right? And then you know that's your mouse, and over here you've got your keyboard, and then you know you do your thing. So it, ha it has to it has to mat it has to be per uh, perfectly parallel. Uh, so you know so that way there's no angle because it's the angle that actually is cutting off your blood flow here. Uh, so and and that's what's killing you. So yeah. So then I did that, and now I don't have any more problems. So and of course I got the kneeling chair. So now there's full, there's more or less full blood flow to my legs and especially my feet. Your feet are the most vulnerable. That's why I, I probably have some sort of permanent nerve damage in my uh, feet a, a little bit from all that sitting on an actual chair. Uh, Cause when I actually sit on this kind of chair, like just after like an hour or so, I can already start feeling like the numbness and like the tingling and like really bad shit. I'm like, okay, I, I better, very good up. Plus, I also banged my right toe against the heavy door back in Stony Brook College, and it hurts really bad. So I'm sure that also caused a lot of damage too. So uh, yeah, you gotta be careful. Uh, take care of yourself. But the good news is there are plenty of actual practical solutions uh, to fixing the problems. And then now I'm actually wearing this back brace. You can't see it because it's underneath my shirt. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this might actually reduce my need to just want to sit in like this chair because it's like my lower back is like it doesn't hurt but at one point it's like you know we're kind of tired from sitting up straight we need to sit so maybe this little back support might give me that little extra oomph or at the very least it'll make sure it'll constantly remind me of my posture so that like you know i don't get forced in posture and uh yeah i spent some time um watching some jesse lee peterson videos and uh of course you know, yeah, I definitely have some anger issues, right? So I definitely have to like forgive my mom and dad, let them know, uh, start to figure out what I'm going to say. Uh, and then I can like open my eyes and go back to the kingdom of heaven, right? Because like, because uh, everything's been resolving nicely, right? I got my money out of BitTrack, so I updated the YouTube description at least. So uh, that was nice. Got my dog coin back, all $24 worth. It's actually worth a little more, as we'll soon see. Uh, I uh what you would call i did a nice thing and removed all the spam scammers because now they're for some reason they're really hitting my youtube video videos uh youtube does a pretty good job of just uh deleting and banning all those accounts automatically but it's kind of interesting uh but then yesterday right just as every and, oh and then this morning i was able to buy steam right uh block trades that us is now working properly with the proper uh you know 17 1750 daily limit right so it's all nice right and now i'm going to be building up my steam power because again i just now realize you know what i really want another a second backup plan right i have my stock market account that provides a little income i'll have steam that provides you know decent cash flow 
uh, from cryptocurrency. And then, of course, we have the main money maker, which is, of course, the proof of stake coins, at least until my video game comes out. And then I make probably the most money from that. And then from there, these coins will then plug into my game through a payment system, of course. And then, uh, you know, life will be good for everybody, uh, or as it should be. Also, of course, the game turns out to suck. And then, yeah, but it, it's not going to suck. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I could definitely see how I'm going to run things. I like my company will be public that people, that the investors and shareholders will bitch at me. I'm like, Hey, go, Hey, don't like it. Dump my stock. We don't want you. All right. The game comes first. The customers come first. You know, you, you, you just come in and loot and pillage the company just because you can make, just so you can like fulfill your greed. All right. We're, we're not going to be blizzard entertainment. All right. The customer and the game comes first. Right. And that's kind of the reason why Blizzard has a lot of problems, too, because they're trying to appease everybody, including shareholders. And shareholders don't just could care less about the product, right? The smart shareholders know that the product and customer base is everything. But, I mean, it's the stock market. It's like anything else. There's, there's always going to be a large group of idiots, right, just running, just running around looting and pillaging shit. Uh, yeah, so, and then, and then that's just what happens. Right? And speaking of looting and pillaging, I was watching a lot of... Uh, Oh yeah, so I was watching the video on how to overcome your anger and your hate, and I like, you know, I've got some stuff to think about. But yeah, you know, it's, you know, I still need to work through it, right? Because all my situations are resolving, right? So I was like, okay, you know, I'm like I was angry-ish, but you know, I'm I'm aware of it, I'm controlling it, I'm handling the situation properly and not getting overly crazy, and then you know, everything worked out. Then yesterday, some stupid asshole, uh, you know, like opens the window, and of course, it's like you know, a degenerate, uh, you know, minority, uh, not, he's not Asian though, but he's not white either, opens up the window, throws his Red Bull can right in front of me, and then that tilted me so much, uh, it's like, you, you disgusting degenerate, why are you throwing trash in, in the backyard, and I also now realize, you know, maybe he just can't help it, I mean, yeah, what he's doing is bad, but I shouldn't, you know, get angry about it. But on the other hand, it's like, hey, he shouldn't be doing that. So it's like, ah, oh, man. In order to figure any of this out, you know, I, I really need to forgive my mom and dad and let them know. So uh, so I can start seeing clearly, you know, apparently for the first time. Uh, oh, yeah, and Jesse also said that you were created on Earth to create love for on God's behalf and then also have a really nice life. That I can believe, right? Because ultimately, we do get what we deserve, right? So if we choose bad things or do do things that are bad, eventually it's going to catch up with us, right? You know, in Asian philosophy, we call that karma, right? Well, sometimes karma happens quickly or instantly, and sometimes it happens over a long period of time, right? Constantly overeating, and you get fat and diabetes, and you die of a heart attack or whatever, or whatever health complications... You know, that's karma, right? Because you, because every day, right, you, you, just, you just kept eating too much food because you just didn't want to exercise. You weren't aware that you were eating too many calories, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's like slow moving death, right? Obviously, you punch someone in the face in the, in the street, then they punch you back, you know, or you maybe even kill you. Well, I mean, that's also instant karma, right? Because you shouldn't be running around punching random people out in the face on the, on the street. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and, and then, and then uh, he was talking to a black person uh, or a black dating couple about how, you know, about like, you know, they don't like the way Jesse talks about blacks or talks down to them. And he's trying to explain to them that there's no such thing as racism. And then they brought up the uh, blacks looting videos, which are kind of shadow banned on YouTube for obvious reasons. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. I was watching those like, wow. Uh, so that, so... <laughs> So now you're not so you're not allowed to report on that uh, But yeah, but he went on to explain that it's not so much blacks But it's just like just bad people doing evil things and then yeah And then I, I didn't finish because now I'm doing this video. So Overall, I feel quite good. I you know all thoughts are lies So I shouldn't feel overly too good because you know Satan brings you up and then he brings it down Right, and that's because he wants you to be in control. You want he wants you to be controlled by your emotions but overall, I just can't help but feel very satisfied, content, you know, I'm building up and I finally got to buy my Steam. I'm now fully able to uh, continue doing the smart buying thing. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, so anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is at 10. So, you know, that looks like it's 
what's going to finalize it. And of course, as always, it's now just worldwide. You know, I just now just don't care about the politics stuff because now Bernie Sanders is probably going to lose. Like, he could easily still win. I looked at the statistics. He only lost the delegates by, like, anywhere from, like, a few percent up to 6%. The problem is, Bernie Sanders is a real huge beta male cuck. And uh, he's just... He's just... Um, He's not even going to complain. He's he's just going to take it up the ass without his consent and then just tolerate it. It's like, and he wants to be president of the United States. I remember I used to say this all the time uh, in my political videos, and, I, and it still holds true. Right? He's a total pushover. So what do you think is going to happen when he becomes president of the United States? Well, the United States will become a pushover nation. You thought Obama was bad and was a huge pushover apologist? Yeah, wait until you see what happens with Bernie. Because everyone, because, you know, as much trash i like to give trump right at least if you push some buttons about trump he'll get really pissed off at you and then he'll retaliate immediately but with bernie you push any of his buttons and he just never retaliates he doesn't even try to retaliate right that's why elizabeth warren completely like fucked him over and then is it drops out after fucking him over on super tuesday it was very obvious and then she's not even endorsing bernie right because Elizabeth Warren's like, go F yourself. <laughs> and Bernie's like, no, no, no. it's truly pathetic. And, and of course, now all the Bernie bros and Bernie gals, like, you know, I, I fully expect one of them to go snap and then like pick up a gun and start going on a mass killing spree. So that's that's really the only danger from Bernie Sanders now at this point is his supporters are going to go like, you know, full wake nap mode and just start gunning innocent people down. Or start a stabbing spree, right? So. You know, because remember, Republican baseball field, that was, uh, you know, a Bernie supporter, right? You know, luckily his aim was terrible. Uh, I don't think he killed anyone. He, he, but he obviously injured Steve Scalise, and then uh, his personal body got to turn fire and killed the Bernie Sanders nut job. And then uh, there was a uh, attempted hate hoax to blame it on Trump supporters of a white guy stabbing minorities at, like, a Portland train station. Uh, but it turned out to be a Bernie Sanders supporter too. So then the uh, and he and the Bernie Sanders supporter actually did kill a couple people. And of course they found it was a Bernie Sanders supporter, so they immediately uh, dropped the story. So yeah, but don't worry, I remember all that shit. And then when it's their turn, well, then when the left eventually comes uh, for us, or at least for me, because of the game, and you know we're true Christian, we're not actually fake Christian like most of the fake right. Uh, yeah, you know we're we're gonna shove it in their face. Right, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, all evil will eventually be purged. I don't know. Like in my case, I still want to do that, but I have to do it without anger or judgment. Right, and just do it because hey, you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, we're gonna have to discipline you. All right, and then uh, of course, if someone dies as a direct or indirect result of their action, well, we'll put them up on trial and try them for murder, uh, and then let uh, the court system and actual evidence sort that out. And that's always been my position, right? Whether I'm angry or not, like, you know, for like extreme stuff, because you know what the penalty is probably going to be, right? The death penalty. And I don't even like using the death penalty, you know, because uh, it technically violates my pro-life view. But I mean, on the other hand, if you're a murderer and we have clear evidence of you deliberately just killing people, it's like, yeah, we probably have to put you down like a feral dog. <laughs> so... You know, hey, it's like, hey, you didn't want to get executed. Like, maybe you shouldn't have killed people. It's pretty simple, man. It's like, what the hell? Oh, well. Anyway, 24-hour volume is at 143.1 billion. Bitcoin down is at 63.6 billion. Or, pff, billion, I wish. 63.6% Bitcoin dominance. Actually, I don't want that to be billion. I actually want that to be low. Eh. Okay, so scratch that. Bitcoin's still holding pretty steady at 9100 bucks. Uh, the Litecoin also kind of steady, 6249 So after yesterday's craziness, right, it looks like today everybody's just taking a nice little break. And they're not really looking to dump. But again, we can't really tell what's going to happen. Uh, I just realized this thing should be... Uh... Yeah, I want this tighter. Problem is, I still have this fat-ass gut. So, oh, that's too tight now. Well, I guess, you know what, I guess we'll just keep it loose. Uh, I'd rather feel more comfortable since it's going to be a long period of time. Uh, plus, you know, really tightening my stomach might not be good for blood circulation. Uh, so, and that's an additional reminder to keep losing weight. 
because I, I actually cannot fit this thing. I don't want to show it because you know, I just want to show my stomach. But like, I actually cannot reach around the whole thing because I'm still fat as hell. It's hilarious. But also, they kind of make this thing kind of small too. There was no adjust. It's an adjustable size, so it's supposed to fit all people. But I guess for some reason they they feel like overly fat people don't use this back support. So I'm kind of curious. To, I'm kind of, kind of curious to know if there's a medical reason for that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Dogecoin is at 308.5 million market cap, and Steam uh, has been going up. Actually, it continues to go up, so now it's back at 20.24 cents. So now that Justin Sun and the uh, bad exchanges, and I'm sorry, uh, sucks to say that Binance apparently was doing bad shit, but at least he retracted immediately. Uh, so the things should be going back to uh, normal. And on the Steam Discord, they said they want to buy Steamit.com from Justin Sun because they don't trust them obviously so they want so the community wants control of all their properties back mm, excuse me see this is why ultimately i just created my own cryptocurrencies here with mitch and then now we're gonna and of course we have a partnership with two by two but i mean if they want to abandon it you know we'll obviously take it over so it's not that big of a deal so yeah because it's like you know what we'll just create our own little community right and mike and then luckily for all of you i actually know how money works so i know exactly what needs to be done all right, and I'll say this again. Worst case scenario, we might need to lower the APR to 404 and 2 by 2 coin in the, you know, hopefully distant future, right? If the supply actually starts getting really out of control and it actually makes it unusable in terms of use case. Because now, because like, because in my game, if people are buying like $10 of a 404 coin to, you know, buy whatever in game transaction, I don't want them, I don't want the numbers to go from 2 million to 10 million to 20 million to like 100 million. It's like, it, it it becomes kind of cumbersome so we need we need stability right the numbers for jmc coin are already going to be pretty large at first but because the supply is controlled so well because now it's only what 62 and a half percent uh eventually you know the price will actually go up over time right because the amount of supply being generated is still pretty low right because because the apr is just low or at least low compared to these so you know 404 will likely be 40.4 percent because we got to keep it you know 404 kind of thing and then i don't know two by two i guess we could just make it whatever we want but probably somewhere around like i don't know i'm thinking 20 percent would be the lowest right because at that point we have to transition these coins into um stable coins essentially but still pay a pretty good apr so you know you so for the smart long-term investor, which is what I always wanted, you know, uh, you know, you'll 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 just have your money working for you. It'll be stable. If you don't like Steam or MRRL. Uh, oh, I kind of skipped over all this, didn't I? Uh, markets are down, but it's not as bad as yesterday. But it's still down, you know, a couple percent. So let's just take a look here. And yeah, I actually learned how to integrate photon, uh, not photon, but uh, PlayFab with Unity. So it's act the 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 code on PlayFab server backend is actually JavaScript. It didn't look too bad. It's also similar to like any programming, so I should be able to pick it up pretty fast. Uh, I, I just don't. I just want to work on the game. Though. I really don't want to just start learning like all this other shit. But that probably means I'll have to go back to Zenva uh, within a month or two after I'm, you know, working my game, and then uh, go through their JavaScript course. Uh, even though I could try to bypass that, but probably it's better that I actually take the time to learn like all the good uh, fundamentals and a little bit more than that, and then have a solid understanding. Uh, stocks yield slayer, COVID nineteen, blah blah blah, and of course, uh, yeah. I made a tweet about this yesterday, but people are still taking cruises, and now there's a California Diamond Princess type ship uh, stranded in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, there was a guy that was in there, then died in Mexico because uh, he didn't know he had uh, the COVID-19 virus. And now all of them are probably, uh, they're actually effectively quarantined. They're not allowed to come back to America. So they're stranded there indefinitely until everyone gets tested or they die from it. So, I mean, they get what they deserve. It's like you know why are you still doing why are you still like taking cruises you you, you degenerate retards right that's that's what they are you know and it sucks that they might die and they're stranded but you're gonna get us all killed like literally so and 
Even California's like, yeah, tough shit. You're not coming back. Now, of course, we're probably still giving them medical supplies. We're in contact with them. We're trying to make their lives comfortable and, of course, give them food and water. But it just goes to show, like, why are you, like, what is wrong? Like, this is a perfect example of what happens when you allow sin to rule your life and allow Satan to rule your life. Like, this is what happens. Stupid. It's just stupid. Anyway, JFC coins uh, four to six uh, with a lot of buys. At, so there's a lot of volatility at five. So the true price of JFC coin is probably five substitutes. So, you know, uh, the numbers get pretty big, but it got, apparently gets bought out pretty fast, too. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably join the queue for five substitutes. But I don't sell any JFC coin. I'm just holding it. I'm hoarding it for now because uh, of the game. Uh, 404 is at five to six. So not a whole lot of. You know, act, why is this thing not moving? Not a whole lot of action here. Uh, yeah, up to six. And of course, my foot's itchy. Uh, two by two coins actually getting some strength. It's actually six, it's actually at sixty nine to seventy, and of course, you can get a decent amount at sixty seven. Uh, the supply for two by two is at um, three point six million coins. So uh, eventually, it's probably going to hit hyperinflation like later this year. Kapow coin also remains, you know, pretty stable. Uh, 6150 to 7500, 7300 Satoshis of a dollar coin. But of course, it's starting to wane a little bit, right? I imagine once the 6000 wall is gone, you know, that'll be poof. Uh, yeah, so for now, everyone's just kind of worried about the coronavirus. Me, personally, I don't really care. And then Nick Puentes himself answering in a super chat how concerned is he about coronavirus on a scale of one to ten with ten being the most scared obviously he said he's about three yeah me i'm like around there too like mm, i don't know two to four i don't know even four sounds like a lot but three feels a little low so i don't know 3.5 i mean honestly i just don't really care right you know got plenty of food i'm satisfied you know i naturally already live alone and i always stay like 99% of the time I'm in this apartment, right? That's why I'm doing these videos. And I'm just chilling on the computer, you know? Uh, improving my computer programming, you know? Now now I'm understanding how to do server-side coding on PlayFab. It's gonna be good, man, it's gonna be good. The whole world is in panic, but not me, not me. It's like, I wish I could find that tweet that I had, right? But there's like a clip where uh, you see two guys like drinking a bunch of alcohol and they're like the whole world the whole world's panicking but not us and then they clink their glasses and they're taking vodka shots but not us not us <laughs> that's basically me except without the drinking because i don't drink alcohol at all <laughs> oh man you see you really should get right with jesus christ and god because then you could be kind of like me right it's just like yeah you know yeah, i still have anger you still have worry issues but it's not nearly as bad as everyone else so you know it's like you know don't you get tired of suffering it's, you know and that was actually what jesse was talking about is uh you know um let go of your anger video and there's no such thing as racism video that i was watching today it's like well, you know, okay. And then he's like, yeah, okay, well, you have to continue suffering and then die from that, right? Not literally, but you'll you'll continue to suffer. I don't know about you, but I, I, I made the decision in 2010, give up all my worries to God, especially about money, because that's what brought me back to him. It's like, okay, you know what? I've been doing this for so long. I'm tired of this cycle. Why don't I just try this, right? And then, uh, yeah, my life has been so much better ever since. But it's a process, right? So, ah, but you know, it, it worked out. It worked out very well. You know, I couldn't have asked for more. Except, uh, I just wish I sh did it sooner. Coronavirus will set Bitcoin to 100k in 2020. Okay, I don't. I mean, as much as I like Max Kaiser, or at least used to. Uh, he, he, his, uh, his predictions are just too crazy. Uh, they never come true. Bitcoin digital gold, yeah, don't care, uh, don't care. British cops warn about Bitcoin scammers profiting off of coronavirus hysteria. Uh, yeah. Uh, did I mention the story about how yesterday or two days ago I was obviously upset about the Bittrex, you know, scamming me on my money, and then there was a, and in my anger, I didn't realize that one of the Bittrex support replies was actually a fake account, and then I actually emailed them. Uh, I immediately blocked and reported for phishing after I got the reply from him, but 
you know, had I been angry and blind and still full of sin and under uh, Satan's, uh, you know, worship or spell, I would have been actually stupid enough to possibly uh, send more info, personal info, so he could go steal my identity. Uh, of course, you know, I immediately caught it, right? Because, you know, I'm always on the lookout for stuff like that. It's like, wait, there's something not right. And it's like, okay. But the reason why I was able to be aware in the first place is because I knew that there's something not right with me emotionally. And I got like, hey, you might want to slow down and check things out, right? Because I'm not so obsessed with the money, right? Because I'm obsessed with the money, you know, I would be worried about my identity being, you know, Right now, there would probably be like 50 credit cards being opened in my name as of as we speak. In fact, maybe my bank account would be losing money, you know. So anyway, uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's very important that you lead a good Christian life, right? Because it's not just there just to annoy you. It's there to protect you from like all this crazy shit, right? You know, you can do it on your own, but it's a lot easier. You, actually, it's the best way if you just simply do things with god all right because then you'll have all god's benefits work through you right you choose not to do that well you know you're gonna go suffer and die then right you know don't come don't come back to me and complain like hey i missed the boat jason i i i missed it like what do i do why haven't you learned anything from me <laughs> it's like did you buy when i said i was buying oh no <laughs> did you sell when you said i was selling uh sort of but because i didn't buy i didn't have anything to sell <laughs> like i don't know what more i can do for anybody all right you know so but hey it's your life so it's like you know it's just like whatever you know uh i mean you know i mean eventually you know when you get to heaven i guess all this isn't going to matter anyway but i mean heaven's still a long time away so i'd rather have a nice life in the meantime you know that, that, that's what i'm going for Quant, uh, that's from yesterday. Okay, so there's no new news. It's just it's just coronavirus stuff. Coinbase CEO says Bitcoin may lose crypto race to all. Coin. Yeah, I don't really care. Ripple pushing to take our remittance quarter between US and Mexico says Bitso. Okay, I don't care. So now people are competing for the money markets. That's fine. Majority of big volume traders bullish on Bitcoin, coin of Bitfinance, Binance futures. Okay, so that's good. A lot of rich rich people are still buying. It makes sense, right? It's just, right now, because we were in a bull run, we were going straight up, and then coronavirus actually hit us. So, you know, once, because it's already war, I actually have my window open, because I think there might be some sort of bleach smell, but I can't seem to pinpoint it. So I just opened it just to air out the apartment anyway. And it's actually like low uh, 50s, you know, so the warmer is already getting weather. Uh, the weather is already getting warmer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this coronavirus dumb shit's going to pass pretty soon. Like, people need to seriously stop freaking out about it. It's actually getting annoying. All right, so. Industry heavyweights push to bring Bitcoin, crypt, uh, okay. Um, okay, actually, maybe we do want to read it. Uh, likely to target, okay, I don't care, and this is from yesterday. Industry heavyweights push Bitcoin. Push to bring Brit. Okay, uh, we're just not going to read that. Uh, a Dallas-based company looking to bring Bitcoin to everyone with a programming interface that could bridge crypto with mainstream finance. Zabo has just completed a two and a half million dollar round of funding. Da da da. Uh, by able to connect to users' crypto wallets in a few lines of code. Well, that would be perfect because I would love something like this, right? I'm hoping the CoinPayments.net API will be basically this. Uh, the team ends, and I just realized that I think when I use Playfab and Photon, I think I can actually use both. Like, I'll integrate the Playfab Exala payment option, so I can accept literally everything at a 5% fee, because, you know, I, I don't like PayPal, but I know a lot of people will use PayPal. Um, but, I mean, I'm uh, going to be, like, you're going to be, the, hero of the, the heroes of this game is going to be Christian, so, you know, I have to take into account the platforming risk based on that single factor alone, right? And then uh, and then on top of that, I also have a coinpayments.net option too. So that way I can measure how much, you know, uh, people are paying through cryptocurrencies. And then once I feel, once it reaches like five, 10,000 a month, right? If we uh, make it that far, we should uh, eventually. Then I go, okay, then I can start paying the 10,000 euros to start adding, you know, JMC, 404 and two by two, you know, to, uh, to that, and then just see what happens, right? And we'll start slow, right? JMC first, and we'll see how well that works. 
Uh, and in the meantime, 404 and 2 by 2 will continue to go down in price due to the hyperinflation. So we could probably pick up some coins for cheap if you really want to do that. And then after that, I implement the thing. Or I may decide to just ask uh, Mitch at that point to lower the APR. And then we do, and then we do the uh, uh, addition, all right? So it's basically like what an entrepreneur would do. You know what's going to happen in behind the scenes. So you know we uh, you know we have full control over it, there, right? And I tell everybody mostly what we're planning to do. So you know you have some time notice. If you choose not to listen to us, well, you know, uh, that's uh, that's basically on you. Tima Dabble says its goal is to bring crypto into mainstream finance. Rounding fund was large. Okay, I don't care. Here's the founder. Uh, uh, a risk-free crypto portfolio. Okay. Uh, the Dallas Harris says it's working to reimagine the current financial infrastructure by core T's that are across the Further use cases. Uh, okay. So, all right. Well, it wasn't really that helpful. So. Uh, all right, you know what? We'll just use this as a thumbnail. I mean, of course, Bitcoin could lose to anybody. Yeah, it's decentralized. It's all based purely on belief and a pure direct democracy. That's why it's awesome. All right, so let's start laughing about the uh, coronavirus news. Um, time and the act all right so it looks like people are starting to fear monger a little more uh case top 100k wow corona oh wait i just thought the way this headline deceptively makes you think there are a hundred thousand people infected with this is such fake news terrorism man. i'm not even gonna click it i mean cnbc is usually pretty good but uh i really don't like i i, I really don't like that now, the first thing I thought was, holy shit, 100,000 people in Seattle infected? It's like, wait a minute. And then and I see the commas. And stuff. That is really, that's really nasty. That, they shouldn't be doing that. But I think maybe this was unintentional. Google internal emails reveal how execs are prepping employees for a coronavirus response. Yeah, that actually would be a pretty good idea. New coronavirus case diagnosed in North Carolina, right? Uh, as past 100,000. This is worldwide, by the way, 100,000. Officials confer five cases of coronavirus in Houston, four in Harris County, okay. Uh, New York Times is bashing Iran because obviously people want, because we because deep state still wants to invade Iran. One well, visits husband of 60 years while he's quarantined for coronavirus. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, he seems to be doing okay. Coronavirus fears are making shoppers Iraq and Washington and businesses are probably freaking out. Central Buck School District closes five schools due to coronavirus ex uh, exposure. Well, this is fantastic in, in the sense that, I mean, obviously coronavirus is bad, but the you know, silver lining, and there's a lot of them, is that, uh, oh, I forgot to click this. Uh, the silver lining is, you know, uh, people are becoming uh, less exposed to left-wing bullshit, right? And they're coming closer to God. So I can definitely bet you a lot more people are coming back to God. Because right now the trend is going back to uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, even Victor Pride recently just became an overt uh, Christian. And he said he denounces his previous sinful life. So it's actually... Um, I mean, I don't really know who he is, but I know he's famous for some reason. Victor Pride Blog. Yeah, bold and determined. Um, and then here's his, you know, little post over here. Uh, looks like he's changing a lot of his stuff, so. Yeah, so it works out. It works out pretty good. So, as always, uh, now's a good time to buy. Continue to buy. Of course, dollar cost average, right? You know, if you go all in and things continue to drop down, A, you might have an emotional response. And then, B, you also could have been like, hey, I could have bought for cheaper. So, you know, but right, this is a marathon, not a sprint, all right? You know, if you're sprinting when it comes to investing, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. And, uh, you know, don't, don't be surprised when you lose all your money. Or you don't make nearly as much as you could have. Uh, if you just simply, you know, took your time and was patient. Uh, actually, yeah, being a Christian would probably help with investing too, right? Just, you know, got to be patient. Don't let your emotions get out of control, right? Don't have anger. Don't have judgment. All that, you're like, oh, yeah, this is a good opportunity to buy. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. 
make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we get this uh, channel to uh, I don't know grow oh yeah I forgot we're not going for 486 or 487 anymore but that's all right you know we'll uh, we'll keep going I mean once my game is out I don't have to worry about uh, fame anyway so uh what should I call it? yeah because i also realized you know i don't really worry too much about money anymore right you know yes i have money right i've got plenty well, i don't want to say how much but you know i've got more than enough to not really worry yet right you know i'm not like in danger of being unable to pay the bills or rent this month right now that's that's far away uh but number two yeah i gave it up to god the emotion and the worry uh, but number two, it's also because, oh yeah, because I figured out a way to actually make money in the way that I want to without too much hassle, right? So fame would be probably the same way because it's just a material thing, right? You can't see it just like money, right? You know, it, it, it's an idea in your head, right? So like any other idea, I really like this doggy picture. Just like any idea, right? You don't want to put that above God. You know, it's always got to be subjugated to God. So, with that being said, once you do that, then you become the master of all of this material stuff because that's how it, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, you use tools; the tool does not use you, right? And, and that's what a lot of humans like, uh, tend to do, right? That's why money rules over them. That's why sex or sin or some or alcoholism rules over the person, not the other way around. So, uh, so with fame, because like yesterday, I didn't even know Battle State Games was holding a Tarkov. You know, developer uh, podcast, and he had like 106,000 people uh, watch his Twitch stream. And he also had like the Twitch drops for the in game stuff enabled. So it was obviously a, it was a, a free money way to bribe people to watch. We still have a lot of people watching. And, and he hardly, obviously, and he obviously hardly does any uploads or does what I do. So it just goes to show that there are many pathways to creating value and getting famous, right? Because in my case, I only want to get famous so I can like use my influence to fix all this dumb shit, right? And then, and then Western society in America, especially, will, you know, have its head screwed on correctly for months, all right? Uh, so like, I'm trying to figure out what, what how do, how do I do that, right? So, uh, yeah, many ways, many ways. So it's actually going to be pretty good, but of course. I gotta learn how to code, right? I gotta be careful not to say on Twitter because that's actually gonna get you banned, right? It's, it's like, Twitter is just so fucking bad. And we have to use it. Um, but, you know, once I learn how to code and then, um, you know, uh, make a game, right? And then we refine it, you know, we improve on it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then I, everything will be good. Everything will be good. Anyway, enjoy your day or night. I'm going to go make some food. I'm starving. I want to play more of my casual mobile Omega LOL games. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Oh yeah, and happy Friday. I forgot today is Friday. Maybe I should actually buy some uh, halal food. I kind of want some halal food. All right. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here's our thumbnail. Oh, and uh, you should be buying, right? Don't, don't, don't sell unless you have to sell. Because, you know, you got to pay your bill or something.